Hey everyone, check it out. Today we're in Alabama. It is early March 2024, and we're here next to this very muddy river. It just rained a few days ago, maybe that's why it's so muddy, but it looks really slow moving. It might be things like alligators and snakes in there. Notice this river from overhead. Just went for a walk. Very muddy boat ramp, it appears I just walked down. It might be from when they were building the bridge, but it looks like a boat ramp to me. Take a look at the thick mud I gotta walk through. On the way down to the river, saw a tiny little frog and a little lizard. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Look right there. Tiny, tiny little frog. A little bit smaller than the size of a quarter. There's another one over here. Now my boots are very muddy. I gotta try to wipe them off a bit in the grass. You see, it kind of looks like a boat ramp. It may have been just access when they were working on the bridge. All right, everyone, we're back in the car and there's like this little dirt road coming down here for river access. Not many people drive down here, as you can see. There's grass growing even where people are driving. There's a couple of little mud holes I'm gonna drive through really slowly. There's also another bridge up here coming up because sometimes I think where I am right now goes way underwater or maybe it's just a precaution. It doesn't look like this area has flooded any time recently. There's no grass pushed over, nothing stuck against that barbed wire fence we're driving along. But this bridge here, I'm pretty sure is for when that river has to flood. It has a whole large area for it to go instead of taking out the road. And that's what all this is for. And I see there's another dirt road on the other side of this bridge. I wonder if that's better access for the river. Let's go take a look. I can drive right underneath this. Let's go see what we can find on this side. All right, we're approaching the other side of that bridge I showed at first. It's got about the same parking area, but it doesn't go down like the other side. I don't even see a trail. Take a look at this. I thought this was pretty cool. When we're right here next to the bridge, doesn't that kind of look like little recessed lights? I know it's just holes for drainage. I love driving down little dirt roads like this, even if they don't go very far. Love doing this. And it goes a little bit down the road until we get to an even enough grade to be able to get back up to the road. Here's some pretty big potholes. That's gonna go over them smooth. Yeah. Very deep. Some of these holes. And we're just gonna pull back up onto the road. I just walked up on top of the bridge just to show you this is where I just walked down it's like a boat ramp it doesn't go all the way down but definitely people go down there it looks like the river is flooding so maybe there's a little bit of a beach on a normal day so just take a look how that tree is growing way in the water looks like it's flooding right now that's probably why it's so muddy but I know a lot of rivers around here are often murky like that And here's these drain holes I was mentioning, kind of act as recessed lights if you're underneath. It kind of looks cool as the sun is shining through them. trash rack. It's a different trash rack. I've never unclogged one like this, which is pretty interesting. There's tall grass right here, so I'm going to have to be careful of creatures, snakes, and fire ants. There's lots of fire ant nests around here in the south, so I'm just going to pull over right here. Look how beautiful and tall the grass already is in the south. It's early March right now, and I know back in my house in Maine, it's... I think we're getting a snowstorm today. All right, everyone. Just pulled over, geared up, got
Got the rake out, so I'm gonna show you the situation. Let's take a look. This is where the water comes out. There's a little bit of a trickle here. What is that? Are those seashells? Yeah, looks like a bunch of she se seashells right there. Some kind of creature's been going up and down here. Look at that. Look at this trail. Um, are these shells possibly being carried out by a raccoon or something, bringing them up here and eating them, or did someone dump them? I don't know, but look at this water. That water's coming out of that culvert, but there's really nothing built up on the other side of the road, so we're not going to use camera number two today. It's kind of cool. It com goes into a cow pasture. I can smell the manure. Looking around at the ground, i got to be careful because there's lots of fire ant hills. I don't see any here. They tend to like the more sunny areas. There's no sun here, but just down the road around the corner, there was dozens of them in people's front yards. Just got to go through the grass nice and carefully. Around here, we like to see a lot of cottonmouth snakes on the edge of the road. We're just going to get some of this debris off. And this drain, this is cool. I have not seen one like this before, but we're just going to rake the debris out rake it up off the edge where it shouldn't have any issues. I'm actually seeing zero water, absolutely nothing going down into this. So all that water you're seeing on the other side, it's gotta be groundwater. I don't see anything here. All right, everyone, let's unclog this. That's been there a bit. We got earthworms and stuff in there. Oh my gosh, look what I just stirred up. Let me show you. They are gonna be angry. Thankfully they're just sugar ants and not the fire ants. I just stirred up hundreds of them that were in that pile. Look at that. All right, let's get this out of here. I'm not going to touch any of this by hand because we have been seeing things, venomous snakes. Remember everyone, the sticks are the enemy. The sticks will get stuck against this. All the leaves will pile against that. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make this system with an open top in case it gets blocked, it can pour over the top. Everything else here, just small leaves. The next gush of water in a rainstorm will push everything through it. Lots of earthworms, and I hear a helicopter coming. Here we are on the other side. Are we going to find any creatures in here? grass will grow up around this, preventing it from coming back in here shortly. All the little bit of debris here will wash back in. I just stirred up something else. Yep. Hundreds of more ants and a whole bunch of cockroaches mixed in with it. All right, look, they're hiding from the sunlight, but you see, there's some roaches mixed in with it. Can you see them scurrying? Yeah, cockroaches scurrying. See them? There they go. 
Another cockroach. They're scurrying away. Now, this right here, all the debris I threw up, the grass will quickly grow around it, preventing that from ever getting washed in here again. Got one more side of maintenance to do. All right, one more side. It's a bit more dense here. Yeah, look at that. That's really good compost. Been there a while. Just removing these sticks, the next storm, this pile of sand will be able to rush out of here. All right, we got all the sticks out of there. So now that everything you see is small leaves, big pile of sand, next rainstorm will wash all that through without a problem. All right, I'm still seeing a bunch of cockroaches scurrying, a bunch of angry sugar ants. Could have been worse, could have been a fire ant nest. Look right here. These poles just go into the bottom. They don't go into the top at all. The entire top is removable by a forklift or an excavator. Yeah, right there, the points for them to lift it up with an excavator or a crane. This is cool. Never seen a hole like this. Look down inside there. That is a big pipe. Nice. No blockage down inside it at all. We're not unclogging that side of it just because it's very difficult to get in there. And like I said, in the past week or so, since we've been around here in Alabama, we've been seeing lots of cotton, cotton melt snakes. That's a very chill snake. It will always try to avoid human contact, but they are very venomous. And they like to hang out in wet places like this with water. Does anyone know what these are on the ceiling? What kind of creature made those? Very interesting nests all over on the ceiling underneath this. Pretty cool. This is a cool drain. I love that. Look at this giant hole. All right, just stomped off my boots. Got a lot of mud out. All right, we got that completely cleaned up on these three sides. When we arrived, it was probably only 20% clogged but it's preventative maintenance. I'm kind of surprised there's nothing on the top for it to spill over into if it did get completely clogged up, but by looking at the surroundings, unless a bunch of stuff comes out of the woods, which it'll probably get stuck and wrapped around trees, this thing won't clog fast. It'll take a while. And if it did clog, it would come up over the road, and this is very steep. You can tell it's not held together very well. It even looks like this has been recently disturbed and recently planted. It might just be because it's a shady area. But this hill would erode very, very quickly if it started topping the road. So all the water you're seeing down there is groundwater. There might be a little trickle coming out of the pipe, but that water... Yeah, if we zoom in, it's got to be all groundwater. Look, there is a good trickle down there all groundwater because that right there is maybe 20 feet lower than that 
All right, everyone, here we are like a minute down the road. And there's fire ant nests everywhere once we're out in the middle of nowhere. They like the sunshine, I guess. That's a fire ant nest. Look at them. They leave these big hills. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Look at the inside of what I just kicked open. A little bit further down the road, take a look at these cows. That's a very curious cow. Wonder what I'm doing here. Stopped. That's a really cool barn. I love how it's made out of a whole bunch of different pieces of metal. Look at that, we got a blue herring flying away. Right here we got a beaver pond. Somebody recently drained it. Look at that water mark on all the trees. And it looks like the beavers are slowly building it back. Check that out. The beavers are building it back again. Alabama beavers. All right, everyone, I just got out of the vehicle. Look at the nice orange roads they have around here. There were some areas we were driving in the soil was bright red. Looks like someone's got a hunting stand way up in there. Check it out. The water was way up here near the edge of the road. Looks like the beavers had a much larger dam. They weren't building it in front of the pipe. Looking down, got some deer tracks all over the road. Very fresh deer tracks. Got a pretty big culvert pipe here. Got some sinkage right here on the edges of the pipe. Got some tadpoles in the water. Someone recently took this out. See, it's a big dam. Got a large water line in there, dropping it back a few feet. You can still hear the helicopter. It's been circling the area for a while. It looks like when the beavers had it up high, it was spilling over here into the drainage ditch. A lot of water's been going through there. Let's see what we got on the other side. Very swampy and murky. What are they searching for? Back and forth, for like an hour now. All right, everyone. I got the big tall boots on for this one, just in case there's a snake, it can bite this. Also, that mud might be pretty deep. We're gonna take it down from that side. I think we can get this water down another two feet. Let's go try it.
very difficult to wash the clay off your shoes up here. We're in southern Alabama and this soil is different than anything I've dealt with. I had to scrub it off the rake. It doesn't wash off the shoes very well. That's why I tried to walk down here. But usually when I'm dismantling a beaver dam, I grind back and forth with the rake. My hands I'm not gonna use because we've been seeing poisonous snakes. Also, there could be alligators in this area. Um, usually I'd rub my boots back and forth. This soil, it's not a, a lot of clay mixed in with it. It's hard. Even with the rake, boom, you gotta pull back. It takes a lot of force. And you see how it's not really eroding? If this was up north where it was like regular mud without all the clay, this would be eroding a lot faster. You see how it's already clearing up? Well, we did get it all out of there. We got it just as wide open as the excavator did it last time. Based on the evidence, this was very, very flooded. But then, I think the beavers relocated. There was nothing fresh. Everything there, I would say, is at least a year old. They must have recently lowered it. And I think I lowered it a little bit more. So this will drop probably about a foot from what I just did. And here's what this area... All right, everyone. Here's what this area looked like before I did anything. And here's what it looks like after. A really big difference. Yeah, around here the clay just don't come off things very easy. You really gotta scrub it compared to what I'm used to. Now here's the other side. The water levels have risen a bit. Looks a lot more like coffee compared to before. Here's what this side looked like before. And here's what this side looks like now. It'll drop in a little bit. That water's clearing up fast. Look down there from the last storm. Is that a pallet? That got washed down from somewhere. Maybe someone had a little pallet bridge upstream at some point. But down here, the amount of water we sent in, the creek bed can't really handle it. See how it's spreading a lot off to the sides? That helicopter's still looking around too. What do you think they're going after? And it looks like the noceums have also found me. A tiny little biting insect, which I would argue is worse than mosquitoes. I got a bunch of them on me right now. Also some black flies. All right, everyone. A little bit further down this beautiful orange road. We come across another culvert. It's about the same size. You can tell sometimes this water comes blasting out of there. That whole area is sandy, way up off the bank. Come over here. Look at these tiny, tiny little pipes. We got a barbed wire fence that has completely rusted out the parts that were touching the water. Really big culvert. I can tell water sometimes tops over the whole thing. Interesting. Let's take a quick look at where the water's coming in. Interesting. Maybe another beaver swamp, but this looks like a man-made dam that we're standing on top of. It's not even clogged, but that's really cool. Look at the drain hole right there. A couple sticks got attracted over to it, but not too much. That's a cool drain, but I can tell during rainstorms that little drain there. Oh, wait, actually, there's another one to the left. Can you see that under the water? There's two drain holes. One of them's not even working. One of them's clogged down inside. Dark, murky water. Oh, look, there's a turtle way out there. See him? There's a turtle way out there. Yeah, see all this erosion? Sometimes water goes blasting over this dam. We saw an alligator yesterday. That's what I'm looking for right now. Don't see any at the moment. Ooh, look what I just found. He's still covered in mud. Look at that. Got a turtle right here. Yep. 
turtle just relaxing right there. Coming back down to look at the pipes, the one that was fully open is flowing really well. The one that had no noticeable flow, it's not doing too well. Maybe it's collapsed, maybe the pipe isn't welded together, maybe it came apart, and that's good the blockage, or maybe something got lodged in the end of it. Can't really tell. Maybe something went down it, maybe there's a 90 degree corner at the bottom of that spillway. Something got stuck in it. Look at this everyone, we got donkeys, a horse, we have sheep, and a cow looking sheep. Or maybe that's a goat. Beautiful field with wildflowers and clover. If you look over on the left, you can still see that helicopter searching around. And right now we're driving over a new culvert pipe installation. Wow, look how many helicopters there are. We got one, two, three, um, in the distance, there's four, there's five of them at least. One, two, three, four, what do you think it could be? Why is there so many helicopters out there? What could they possibly be searching for? Beavers maybe? Oh, wait. Look, look now. There's, um, one, two, three, four, five, Six. And a couple birds too also searching. To me, up close, they kind of look like military helicopters. Maybe they're just training or something over all the farmland. At first I was thinking maybe it had to do with hunting off feral pigs or something, because I've seen that in Texas on YouTube. They use helicopters to hunt off all the feral pigs because they cause millions of dollars in damage to local wildlife crops they kill native animals and they're also very mean the feral pigs cool bridge. Just want to see the river. I wonder what this sign says. It just says no littering. What does that say? Loitering. No, littering. We're good. We can go look at the river. Alright everyone. I hope today's video was interesting. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.